Now that we've played with drawing circles and seeing what their equations look like in GeoGebra and Desmos, our job is to take some information and figure out the equation of the circle that it represents. Well, we know the equation in general looks like this. In parentheses, we have x plus or minus some number, and that quantity is squared. Then there's a plus sign. And then there's another set of parentheses, and it's y plus or minus some other number, that quantity squared, and all that equals some number. For example, so here would be an example, x minus 3 quantity squared plus y plus 4 quantity squared equals 25. Now, what do those numbers signify? Well, the numbers inside the parentheses with the x and the y These numbers, right there, right there, which are here and here, signify the center of the circle. And the only thing I remember is it's kind of backwards. So if it says minus 3, that means its x-coordinate is positive 3. If it says plus 4, its coordinate is minus 4. And the number here, the 25, that is the radius squared. Here someone gave us some information. The center of our circle is at 5, 2, and the radius is 3. So what is the equation? Well, again, we have parentheses x, and then if it says plus 5, it says minus 5, quantity squared, plus, always a plus. y is our next thing, and it's a plus 2, so it's minus 2, quantity squared. That equals the radius squared. 3 is our radius, so it's 3 squared. Now, yes, you could go ahead and write that as 9. Either way, 3 squared or 9. We have another example. We have a center of negative 3 and 6. So, again, x, it says negative 3, so we're going to go plus 3. Quantity squared plus y, it says positive 6, so we'll go minus 6. Quantity squared, then our radius is 2.5, 2.5 squared. So there's our equation, x plus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 6 quantity squared equals 2.5 squared. And I'm okay if you just write 2.5 squared. If you want to go ahead and square it, that's fine too. Um, but there we go. Again, the, the, num the, the sign for the center is kind of backwards. It says minus 3. Well, we write plus 3 in the parentheses. So here's a picture of the circle. Again, we want to write the equation for this. The equation has really two important parts, the center and the radius. Well, A is the center. We need to know the coordinates for that. It's at 3, 2. So that means our equation will start off x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared. And now we need the radius. Um, how far from A to the to the side exactly and this is nice because it goes one two three so equals three squared now we're going to have some trouble in the near future because we're going to have things that aren't exactly three units over or four units over but we'll get to that all right one more example that's kind of basic um, we need the center well our center is at three zero so we have x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 0 quantity squared. Do you actually have to put that? No, you could just put y squared. And that will equal some radius. So again, we've got to look. Um, it goes 1, 2, 3. Oh, this is 3 again. 3 squared. Yeah. Right here, you know, the, the, you can put y minus 0. That's fine. Or y plus 0. That's fine. It's the same thing. Or you can just put y squared. You know, there, it's not offset up and down, so you don't have to put anything there. But if you put zero, you're just saying it's offset by zero. Not a big deal.